it's my great pleasure to officially welcome you to this opening night. Thank you, Arif Tony. More than a million people in Israel are now under rocket threat. They cannot go to festivals and cannot go out to see movies in public places. My thoughts are with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means everything uh, to be here tonight to join the Israeli uh, Film Festival in, in honoring is, uh, Israeli filmmakers, Israel Films. And the man I'm here to in introduce, the wonderful, the one and only, Arthur Cohn. We all know Arthur Cohn, the filmmaker, the producer of 28 unforgettable films and documentaries, six of which have won the Academy Award. A man who was awarded the Order of Arts and Letters by the French Ministry of Culture and a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, I've been very fortunate to work with Arthur twice. The qualities that make him a great producer also make him a great friend. He's a, a kind, he's, he's a kind man, he's loyal, he's completely dedicated. Everything he does, from the first line of the script to the last frame in the editing room, is a labor of love. He will devote years of his life to making a dream come true. And when he asks you to be a part of that dream, you say, yes, because he means it. Ten years ago, Arthur told me about a book he had acquired the rights to the Etruscan Smile. There was no script at the time, but he believed in this movie, and he wanted me to do it. And he said he could have got Sharon Stone, but he wanted me. <laughs> um, over the years, the script came in uh, and, and brought in a wonderful creative team. Uh, the amazing actor Brian Cox and the perfect cast came in and I was the lucky one who got to see Arthur bring this beautiful story to life. Eleanor Roosevelt said that the world belongs to the person brave enough to believe in the beauty of his dreams. This makes Arthur a true citizen of the world and I'm so proud to call myself his friend. Please enjoy a few precious moments from a lifetime of Arthur's beloved movies. And the winner is... And the winner? And the winner is... And the winner is... And the Oscar feature-length documentary goes to... The Oscar goes to... Dear friends, first I would like to thank our lovely Rosanna Arquette for her wonderful introduction. To be introduced by such a superb, uh, outstanding, loyal, wonderful, and great actress was extremely modest in contrast to colleagues and uh, deserves a special grace and we all know that she wanted to give you a minimum pleasure by hearing her the introduction and by meeting her in person tonight. grateful to this special honor in the Israel Film Festival and I very much appreciate 
the wonderful organization and introduction and activity and enthusiasm and devotion for my effort, for me. I am connected with Israel since the beginning of Israel and I connected with Zionism since my late grandfather, whose name I have, asked Theodor Herzl in, Paris, in Vienna to come to Basel and to make the first Zionist Congress 1897 in order to establish the State of Israel. My late father, Marcus Cohen, was the respected leader of Swiss Zionist movement before he moved to Israel, where he helped to write various important new laws for the new state, and he served as Israeli assistant to the Attorney General. With this background, it is not surprising that I have always been connected to Israel in my activities as film producer. Also, in my work as the film producer, I express many connections to the fate of Israel. Besides having produced three movies related to the Holocaust, and the first was the first meaningful special effect music uh, 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 um, movie, namely The Garden of the Vinci Contini. We also, we also made the final word solution and question of the of the night together with Marion Wiesel, the wife of Amy Wiesel. I'm also very proud of the film One Day in September, which deals with the murder of 11 Israeli athletes by Palestinian terrorists at the Olympic Games in Munich 1972. My youngest film, the, the Etruscan Smile, which will be shown at a festival tomorrow afternoon, has significant Israeli input. The directors, the composer, the music supervisor, and one of the actors are all Israeli. In light of the above, I am especially grateful to receive the Life Achievement Award from the Israel Film Festival. In my career, I have always tried to create what I call European or international human cinema. Human cinema means that I produce films which follow three main guidelines. No violence, no sex, and no special effects. I personally believe that there is nothing, truly nothing, more meaningful than human films which depict real human stories, real, real human relationships, because that's what life is about. 
There are too many films today which you forget the moment you leave the cinema. It would like to touch people with my films to have them think about the films also being seen weeks later and a long time later and not remember, not forgotten and hopefully they will improve whom to whatever meaningful lives lie ahead in their living. I especially would like to thank Mayor Felixi. Mayor, this festival is your baby. One can feel the extreme love and devotion which you have given for it the whole year. I am impressed and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your wonderful initiative. I would like to conclude with my parents because everything I am and everything I was able to do in the film activities is impossible without them and their guidance and their motives and their example. My parents gave me roots and they gave me wings. They gave me roots so that the roots cover my tradition, my religion, my moral values. The wings which I have created mean freedom and my call to use my free will to create something new. Some people in the world sit on their roots and they are afraid to use their wings. Others use their wings but they are afraid and neglect their roots. I assure you, dear friends, and I assure you everybody who is interested in my filmmaking that I have always in my life tried to respect my roots while never, while, while using at all times also my wings combined with them because a combination roots and wings is in my opinion the only way a meaningful life can be established. I thank you and I wish you some